Alright guys, I just got done stressing my 2180 for as long as I felt necessary at 3 GHz. Now we are going to shut down and I will show you what my BIOS settings are. I'm going to raise my uh, clock speed a little bit and we'll go from there. As you can see, not very well, but come on, there you go. Best website ever right there, overclock.net what uh taught me a lot of stuff I know so if anybody wants to check it out feel free it's a great website been a member uh quite a while it's a little little over a year now so all right let's get to the point here <coughs> shut this thing down all right as you can see Restarting. <clears throat> if I shut it down, I'll have to restart all over again. And I don't want to do that. So, computer here. Press delete to get into BIOS. <clears throat> See, 300 by 10. Memory at 750 megahertz. 55515, which I said earlier, is super loose. 4.25. And everybody keeps telling me to go lower, but uh, it doesn't seem to be going any lower than this. Um, I just got my settings down here a little better, so we'll see if uh, it makes a difference. And we disabled transaction booster this time, which was it auto last time and seemed to work at first but once you get right around three gigahertz it fails no matter what you do so we're gonna go here we're gonna add uh... We'll try uh... 305 Just give me uh... another speed three 0.05 gigahertz, 50 megahertz clock speed. All right, Let's show you some other settings we got here. I enabled PECI because it made some of my temperatures go whack when they were under load. So let's leave that enabled for now until I find otherwise and see what the problem was. And here's everything else disabled. You can see here. It wasn't lying to you. 3.01 gigahertz. So now we're out. <clears throat> Save and exit. Restart. takes forever to boot. Come on. Back in the windows. Oh, but a phone again.